tonight we finally see Michael Buddy go for it and get that elusive Turkey Night Grand Prix win. We're about to find out in 98 laps. Indeed, thank you very much, Drake. Drivers buzz the track a little bit here again. Jacob Denny. They're glitching, man. Eh? Jason Percy on run number one. No, we're not going to Kevin Thomas Jr., Cannon McIntosh on run number three. Kale Drake, Corey Day on run number four. Row five, Kevin Miller and Kyle Larson. Zach Weigel, Tyler Corey on run number six. Row seven, Logan Seedy and Jake Swanson. Row eight, Justin Grant and Ryan Timms. Row nine, Dalton Gabbard and Kaylee Bryant. <sighs> Six row seven See? Logan CD and Jake Swanson yeah, row eight Justin Grant and Ryan Tim row nine so Dalton many Gabbard Kaylee Bryson pocket. row ten Tanner Carrick <laughs> and CJ Leary Zach Dom and Chase McDermott. We have to put a little row delay on it. Gay Lewis, Ronnie Gardner, Brody Graham, and Emerson Axum. How many laps? Ninety-eight. So the field going to make their way by, ladies and gentlemen. Light them cell phones up, wave back, and let them know you appreciate them. The cars and driving stars here in the 83rd running of the Turkey Night Grand Prix with the USAC NOS Energy Drink Midget National Championship. I figured they'd do that four-wide thing, but maybe, yeah, maybe I don't not. Know. I don't know. Toyota Racing Development Pacer are going to make its way down into the infield. Well, 98 times around, ladies and gentlemen. For the final time this season, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because this is what you saved your lunch money for. Turkey night goes to green. Oh. Jacob Denny going to hold off the charge to the outside. He'll work inside and out to the race lead here. He'll try to come around and lead lap number one. Mason Pursley in pursuit. Colfoy running in third. He'll have Thorson peek into the outside. He will throw it into the high side of the speedway, trying to get the grip down to the back straightway thus far. Go boy, they will hold him off as they work into turns three and four. Firstly, also trying the outside of the speedway. Not able to get the charge he needed on Jacob Denny. And he holds on to the race lead. Firstly, running in second. Tanner Thorson right now trying to hold on to that third spot. He had it for Cowboy last night at the start finish line. Thorson up high. Cowboy down low. The bubble one entry with a better run this time around in the front straightway. He will hold on to the third position. Thorson running in fourth. Cannon McIntosh, your top five. Thomas Jr. going to run in six. Gail Drake, Kyle Larson, Corey Day, Gavin Miller right now, your top ten. Everybody finally down to the bottom side of the speedway. Patience, the name of the game. While not giving up too much here in the early laps. As they wait the track to widen out here. Jacob Denny going to try to get up and hide. Looks about a half a straightway between himself and Casey Percy for the time being. Goldboy holds on to the third spot. Tanner Thorson, he's been peeking that outside line here. It just has not cleaned off enough for him to get up and try to make anything happen. But Cannon McIntosh still running at your top five. Kind of looked at the leg rear of the 25 there for a second. Was able to squeeze down underneath him and move him up out of the line. So work on to the back straightway. Kevin Thomas Jr. still running in the sixth spot. Kale Drake. Kyle Larson, Corey Day, Gavin Miller, your top 10. Tyler Courtney running 11. Jake Swanson at 12. Ryan Tim, Justin Grant, Logan C. Larson and Corey 15. Day together. <laughs> Eight laps in. Yeah. 90 remain. It is 98 green flag laps. Caution laps do not count. Back of the field. Starting to come into view. about to become interesting here as the track still narrow down to the bottom side. And Jacob Denny now has to contend with the back of the field. Firstly, letting the car swing out at the exit of turn number four, testing the high line a little bit here. A couple of drivers starting to open up their entry a little bit. We'll see how things progress as they come around and click off lap. Trying to get that high line going. Right now they've been staying on the bottom. 66 of Brody Graham a lap down. Puts that car between himself and Pursley. Pursley has gained several car lengths over as he had to navigate and time his pass. Still not able to clear the BB oil field services entry is now the 66. Going to swing it wide to proceed auction.com. Number 86 with the run to the back straightway. He will clear. Yeah, within about five car lengths, they work their terms three and four by the one and one of Kate Lewis to put him a lap down now. Inside line is still clear. Pursley is there trying to hold. Pace with the 25. Whoa. Ooh, look out, Brody Graham. Car shot up the racetrack. Thought she was going to seize up to come to a stop. Able to get it rolling. And 
we stay green as Denny comes around with 82 laps remaining. He still has Asa Pursley glued onto that back bumper. Buddy go for the meantime, he has started to close in. Tanner Thorson and a McIntosh, still your top five. See, first of that time, test on the high side of turns one and two, takes it immediately back down to the bottom over in turns three and four. The 68 of Ronnie Gardner here trying to put him a lap down. See a few drivers towards the back of the pack starting to creep up the racetrack a little bit. That's the one here, the 98. Get your butt down there. The Carrick. Right now, within kind of a nothing to lose situation, going to go ahead and look to the outside now. Challenge possibly bit. for the lead. Here comes Pursley. He's going to look to the outside to turns three and four. Leader mired in traffic around the bottom. Pursley trying to get a run to the front straightway. He's right there running. Goes back to the high side of turns one and two. Jacob Denny going to have to get the elbows out to try to block the charge here as he is still down around the bottom side of the speedway up on the back bumper of Ronnie Gardner. He's going to see the 86 giving it a try. Now he's going to go to the outside and Pursley is going to go to the bottom. Jacob Denny goes to the outside. He leaves the inside line open. He is able to fend off the charge of the CB Industries entry for the time being. Uses the lap car as a pick, but can it hold? Round to the front straightway. Pursley had a shot, couldn't get it. Now they leave the bottom open. And Kofoy going to sneak by in the mobile one number 71. Pursley sneaking off the bottom. Kofoy there to capitalize. Thorson on his back bumper. Cannon McIntosh trying to close in on this fight now. As your leader with a trio of lap cars dead ahead. Moves his line up the racetrack just a little bit more. That high line starting to clean off. Leaders having to take advantage of it to try to clear slower cars. Jacob Denny still in command. Buddy Kofoy in the number 71. He's going to stick to the outside. Leader's going to return down to the bottom over in turns three and four. Does he have the run of the front straightway? He does not. Buddy Kofoy. Seventh place finish here one year ago. Knocking on the door of the lead here at Turkey Night. 72 laps remain, and you'll have a new leader. Buddy Kofoy charges the outside. Jacob Denny going to fight back. They're going to cross each other over as they work onto the back straightway. Kofoy to the inside. Denny to the outside. Here comes Kofoy. Denny back on the bottom. Kofoy's going to come around and lead. So Buddy Kofoy, he's led to in this one. Jacob Denny throwing the slide back on him as they work onto the far side of the speedway. Has the run of the advantage off into turns three and four. It will be the 25. No, the 71. Able to get back up in front of him. Kofoy. Holds on to the race lead. Jacob Denny still right there. You've got Tanner Thorson into that mix as well. A pair of Tom Malloy on entries running second and third right now, but it is the KKM Curve Academia Mobile 1 number 71 of Buddy Kofoy leading. 69 laps to go. The line about halfway up the racetrack right now. Able to keep pace ahead of the leaders. It's been interesting to watch. Is the 98 of Tanner Carrick. He currently runs in 19. So far, he's been able to outpace the 71 as we've got problems for Ryan Timms. The 67 slow on the high side of turns one and two. That will draw the caution. Ah. Caution for Ryan Timms as it looks like damage on the front end. Oh, the number 67. It's done. He's yep. going to take it down to the Indy Metal finishing work here. We'll see if he's able to continue on. Okay, Larson. Don't give him a chance. So to look at it. Do not count. I don't know where Larson's at. It's 98 green flag laps. And Buddy Kofoy. I think he's in the top 10. I can't see. Well, he it's started 10. Takes over at the front of the field. He better be in the top 10. Ace. Uh, ain't moved up much. Two spots. But we'll see. The track is starting to. Uh, Coming together now. 67 laps remain. Kofoid leading. They'll give him a Denny chance to see if they can fix it real quick. Jason Pursley in fourth. Cannon McIntosh in fifth. Corey Day in sixth. Gail Drake in seventh. Kyle Larson in eighth. Kevin Thomas Jr. in ninth. Tyler Courtney in tenth. Gavin Miller in eleventh. Jake Swanson in twelfth. Logan Seavey in thirteenth. Justin Grant in fourteenth. Zach Weigel in fifteenth. Ryan Timms has been running in the twelfth spot. So it's been interesting to watch the 98. He's talking about it under green flag laps of Tanner Carrick.
as the leaders have been on his back bumper more than once, he's actually been able to keep pace and kept himself on the lead lap. So now he has a chance to maybe try to fight his way up through the field here on the restart. As Ryan Timms down in the Indy finishing work area, crew working feverishly on the front end, and I believe might have a look at what happened. So turn three is where this happens. And we're looking at the speed shot. And Tim's going in. Looked like he maybe caught the back of the 97. They'll, flow, they'll slow the frame rate down. and It's like Gavin shot right up the racetrack. And Tim's had nowhere to go. And unfortunately knocked the front suspension out on that JBL. KKM Kerbega Janian machine. So we'll see if he's able to make his way out of the Indy Metal Finishing Work area. Crew continuing to work. Buddy Kofoy, his fifth start in Turkey Night. A best finish of second in 2021. Trying to take home the trophy. The Aggie here tonight. We go back to green. Jacob, Vinny, and Tanner Thors are going to be charging hard to try to get up and get around. The KKM Kerbega Genie machine is now. Here comes Pursley back in the hunt. Pursley. Falling back to fourth. Trying to get his way back up in the second here. Works around the bottom side of the speedway. Ooh, we got one bouncing hard over in turns three and four. That was Gail Drake in the 97K, the Eibach entry, getting it back under control. Loses a couple of spots, but we stay Arson green. Arson ain't far behind. Yes, it's a three-car fight for the second spot. You've got Mercer to the inside, you've got Dave to the outside, you got Thorson chasing both of them. Thorson trying to the middle up the racetrack See, behind the back of the number 25. He's fixing to be in the top five. Dave, that allows the 86. Mason personally, a little bit of room to run on the inside he now. Reeling in your leader, the 71 at Kofoy. Work at the top side of the speedway. Keep a look down at the bottom. Here comes Jason Persley in the 86. Trying to put a cherry on top of the 2024 season. <laughs> Your points leader. Trying to leave no yep, doubt. Five. But so far, Kofoy able to keep him at bay. The 71 Time continues to, to keep momentum front. rolling on the outside. That bottom line starting to get just a little bit of a shine to it here. It's when that shine goes dull. But you got to be worried. As right now, he continues to roll the bottom master play the 71 up on the outside, continuing to lead. Personally running at second, Denny and Thorson in a good battle yeah. in the third spot, trying to turn it back into a battle for second here. In the meantime, Kyle Larson, He's the world racing coming. number 1K, has picked his way up into the top five. Corey Dave running at six. Tandem McIntosh in seventh, Kale Drake, Kevin Thomas Jr., and Tyler Courtney currently round out your top ten. He's making ground. Logan CB running at 11th, Gavin Miller at 12, Jake Swanson at 13, Emerson Axel at 14, Justin Grant in 15, Weigel, Carrick, Bryson, Dom, and McDermott. That is your top 20. Slide jobs coming for the second spot. Tanner Thorson in the 25 in. He wants to get up there and race for them guys. Putting her back up on the high side, putting the whip to it here to the front straightway. Has the second position. Jason personally back to third. Thorson picking up the win at Bakersfield, trying to get one more win for Tom Malloy before they hang it up here. He will start to close in rapidly on the mobile one, number 71, as they work it onto the back straight by 56 laps to go. This time it'll be 55 remaining. Track top to bottom, Corey Day. Set the sights on Kyle Larson. That'll be the fight for the fifth spot. Larson pins off the charge of the Willie Kane factory, K number four machine. Both drivers yeah, right Corey now. Corey Day, Larson. Corey Larson going to slide himself up to the tight top side of turn number four. They come after Jacob Denny arrives in that four spot. First they running in third. Thorson still running in second. Everybody continuing to chase Buddy Kofoy. High side off the turn number four. That's where your top five drivers ride. First driver to break rank. Corey Day down to the bottom. Now he's going to switch lanes with Larson into turns one and two. Larson down to the bottom. Day to the outside. Still a good battle as they work to the back straightway. Day trying to get a run, had to tap the brakes, now going to dive it down to the bottom, Larson up across the racetrack, it's Larson with the advantage still. Both drivers down to the bottom. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? Larson, Larson around the caution lights, come on. Sorry, Dave.
What the heck? Tory Dave's thinking. Stupid kid. Car yeah. coming to a stop at the exit of turn number four as well. Know. I don't know what the heck. It's trying to wreck the That's what I'm saying. It seems like he's just. That has come to arrest the exit. That's what the problem is. Is Kyle Larson so good? Fantastic. When they get up there and get all up there, they get all antsy and think they want to try to pull a move on Kyle Larson because he's the best. does the 360, and that will send him to the tail. Freaking idiot. So he brought the caution out, so he's got to go all the way to the back. Kyle Larson? Yeah. What the? You spin? If you spin all the way around like he just did? It's going down! Right! But Larson's penalized now. So now Larson's got to go all the way to the back. That's a bad rule. It's a stupid rule. It is stupid. I'm saying he ran swirling into him. That's stupid, Gordon. How does Kyle Larson get penalized for that? Buddy Kofoy continues to lead. Tanner Thorson in second. Yeah, it's done for him. Wow. Jason Pursley. No wow, way. No they way. don't want Larson to win. Back second, now going to restart in fourth. Yeah, no way he wins Corey tonight. Corey fifth. Wow. Thomas wow. Thomas six. Kevin Thomas he might just go park it. Kevin Thomas, Tom McCourty, and ninth, and Emerson Axum from 26. That's ridiculous. Is up to the top ten. Remember, Axum had to go to a backup car. The that makes oil you sick. The oil filter exploding off of the primary car earlier tonight. Wow, wow, wow. That's a stupid Thanks, rule. Yes. When somebody runs into you and makes you spin, you shouldn't, sure shouldn't be penalized. Wow, now Cardi Day's number five. Freaking idiot. Top to bottom for turns one and two. Now here comes Thorson trying for the slide. Not quite enough momentum. Yeah, that's the 71 leads. No way, Larson comes from the back. Larson going to try to get that many. momentum built back up and see if he can throw it one more time. Wow. They work onto the back straightway. Yeah, Danny screwed. around the that's bottom. A that's a David stupid and rule. Go to the outside. He has worked by Dason Pursley's number 86 now. I don't see how that can be a rule. I don't see how that can be a rule. To get to the front of the field. He's got Tom Boyd. Yeah, you're right. It's really stupid. That is a stupid rule. He will slide across the side. How does somebody get wide for the top spot? It's going to be Cowboy. That's ridiculous. Buddy Cowboy. Oh, some better wreck. Uh, Holds on to the race lead to Tanner Thorson and slams the cushion. The car goes skyward. He sets it back down and somehow keeps it rolling. Yeah, it was a really stupid What a rule. save by the trench shoring number 25. Is that, that, up front as that's all going on. Jacob Denny goes back into the race lead. I don't know how he gets penalized for that. Jacob Denny back to the top spot, working the bottom side of the racetrack. Buddy Copoy back to second. Corey Day running they for a Tanner Thorson holds on to four. Dason Pursley. They don't to even make sense, line. man. Here comes Kofoy trying to get the rubber band wound up on the outside. Does he have the run of the front straightway? Right, so He's there. This is it by half the car at the line. Yeah, one that zero, is. One zero that's seconds. That was the difference. Jacob Denny hard on the throttle crazy. to the back straightway. Kofoy again. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that rule there. The cushion bobbles her just a little bit. It continues to be Jacob Denny leading. That's a totally stupid rule. One slower car starting to come into view here. They work on the back straightway. He's the one that's lost the wreck. I'm saying he spun him around. They're split top to bottom. Too high, too low. Pass for the third spot. That Orson rule and Day trying to trade that spot around. around. It will be Corey Day holding on to it. Working at turns three and four. Thorson back up to the high side. Jacob Denny still in pursuit of the bottom side of the speedway. He leads. Copoint still right there. Corey Day trying to use patience on the inside. Oh, Copoint just bounced her off of the wall. Come on, Brett, Go Corey Day. Off of the How wall. about that? Contact to the back bumper for Tanner Thorson. Thorson, though, back out of the throttle. He allowed the 71 to regain his composure, and we stay green. In the meantime, the 86 to Dayson Pursley. He's going to make his way by, and he has Kevin Thomas Jr. in tow with him. As they work in a turn yeah, three and four, Thorson is going to go up to the top, and he's going to go ahead and let the throttle speed here. Yeah. Works back by the 86. They're moving the night. Into turns I'm one and two. I don't he understand takes the that rule. Spot. back to his inside, not able to get there. Thorson now driving with a little bit of vengeance here. Bounced her hard off of the wall. Saved it, brought it back down. Now. He is the only driver in the top five working the high side. It's a long way around, but so far he is holding on to the fourth position. Copoy running in third. Corey Day yeah, I'm trying to reel in Corey Jacob Day. Denny. I was about to wreck him. Thirty-eight Wood. laps remaining this time. Bottom side of the speedway, starting to clean off over at turns three and four. 
As with that, the 25 yeah, every, meters, everybody they can see. Down to the bottom. They see what's the going on. Pushing him the back straightway. <laughs> can go back to the high side over and turn see three and four. Bounces are hard off the cushion one more time. He's side by side with the pristine auction. Doc number 86. At the line, it was Thorson over Pursley, but barely. Kevin Thomas Jr. still right there in the sixth position. Corey is seventh, Cannon McIntosh in eighth, Logan Seavey in ninth, and Gavin Miller right now you're top ten. Problems for the Ada McDermott. He's going to roll slow over turn number two, and the caution line going to come on with 36 <laughs> to go. display for the 8W Chase McDermott have been running in the 19th position and he is going to get the push down to the Indy Meadow finishing work area Jacob Denny back to the front of the field Denny leading the opening 25 revolutions as Ronnie Gardner problems will bring him to a stop now over in turns one and two Boy taking over on lap number 26. That's ridiculous. I don't see how that can even be a sensible rule. How, how do they sit around these people that are the heads and penalize somebody? Well, so, somebody comes and hits you and spins an you around, you causes race. your car to spin around. Three wide how do you get penalized for that? Jacob Denny goes Stop back it. to the lead. Really it's like getting run over by, yeah. You know, it's like walking across, walking across the street and getting hit by a car, and they blame the pedestrian. <laughs> Will somebody wreck Corey Day? Corey that pisses me off now. <laughs> I can't even enjoy this freaking this race now. Sitting yeah, silver a once more. I'm subscribed. How about that? <laughs> It's very 17 one year ago. I, I don't even know what to say about that rule. I didn't previous to that 13th in 2022. I can see if somebody they spins herself out up in the bit. dirt, they get up there and get loose, and spin around, cause a caution. Then it's on them. Second at but when you get run over, how can, you, how can, you, how can they penalize the, uh, the innocent victim? And then the, nobody even says anything about it. Like, oh, that's he normal. Has 36 laps. That's just a stupid rule. To see if he can hoist the trophy, don the Aggie, and walk away with fifteen thousand dollars in hand. I mean, really, that's that's the stupidest I thing can't I've even ever heard. Enjoy this race anymore. That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard. Sing service. 2021, yeah. Logan Seavey was behind the wheel of a Tom Malloy machine and went to victory lane. It's so funny if Corey will win. Day. <laughs> Be the we'll one Ronnie Gardner back to the speedway. Quick visit down to the Indy Metal Finishing Work Area. It is Denny, then Day, Copoy, then Pursley, Thorson, then Thomas, Courtney, then McIntosh, Seavey, then Gavin Miller. Emerson Axum in 11, Jake Swanson in 12, Gail Drake night. in 13, Justin Grant in 14, Tanner Carrick in 15th as we go back to green. That's the stupidest rule ever, man. Field fighting down to the bottom side of the Let speedway. A little bit of bumper tag going on. Up. We'll see how the fight goes in the back straightway. One driver going to go ahead and step to the outside, see if he can make something happen here. That is going to be the 68 machine working on the 97 of Gavin Miller right now. His way into the top 10. That's Emerson Axum. Now going to go in and take it down to the bottom side of the speedway. Low side running both ends down for the field. And Jacob Denny. With 34 laps to go. Corey Day. Trying to improve by one more. Buddy Copoy running in third. Mason Percy running it forward. Andrew Thorson still your top five. 
bottom line begins to go over in turns three and four. It will begin to clean off, and that's where the field will ride. Trying to chill the ball to left front off on that inside berm. Stick the right rear, protect from the pass at all costs. Denny. Now will have control over the pace of the race. This tire conservation will start to enter the thoughts of drivers as they work into turns three and four. A 30 lap. Dash to the finish begins now. <laughs> top five drivers on the breakaway for the rest of the running order. Kevin Tom Gavin Miller continues to be your top ten. As Kevin Thomas Jr. Gavin Miller continues to be your top ten. As Kevin Thomas Jr. Off of the bottom, going to allow the 23 to go in and make his way by. Looks like possibly the right here getting a little soft on the 57 KT. Makes his way off of turn number four. It is still up. He has lost a position to Tyler Courtney as he will now try to reel in your top five. Thorson sitting at fifth. Firstly running at fourth. Those two right now in a race on their own. Your top three have pulled away. Jacob Denny continues to lead Corey Day. See if he starts to apply a little bit of pressure here. Trail by a half a second yeah, last time. Us. This time, still right there at .5 at 0-1. I don't even see so how that's a full of position. legitimate rule, man. Really. As the leaders start to see the back of the That's another handful of positions. As the leaders start to see the back of the that rule, he's on drugs. Yeah. KTJ is Turkey Knight going to come to the close. That car down into the infield. He will clear and we will stay green. Now the question is, where do the leaders go? As we're a couple laps away from having to contend with slower traffic, first driver in line now is going to be the 77 of Gabbard. That's really a disappointing right there. To the throttle in the middle of turns one and I don't, two. I don't get that rule, man. 25 there a little bit. I, don't, I just don't get I mean, that just doesn't even make sense. Of it, I do not penalize the person that runs two, into it. It causes the 360. It is Danny the day. Kofoy the first late. Thorson in fifth. Courtney in sixth. McIntosh in seventh. CB in eighth. Gavin Miller in ninth. And Kale Drake. It'll be your top ten problems for the 68. The Toyota entry. Axum. After charging from 26, he's been trying to make his way into the top 10, and his turkey not going to come to a close. As now, the game of chess commences. Able to time his pass onto the back straightway on the 77. Corey Day right there, close to the back bumper. Buddy Copoid likewise able to make his way by. Next two drivers in line on the lead lap, going to be the 86 person with 25. Of all people, that's so far not able to do so. 18 laps remain. Jacob Denny. It's Corey Day. I like kind of like Corey Day. Oh, yeah. But that was patient same yet. Her dad is, is a that's stupid. That's turning me off. Corey Day. <laughs> that was just stupid, man. Is everybody tuning in at the last minute? The four going to slip by and take over. Uh, Corey Day up into the race lead. Yeah. Second last year. Can he hold on for gold here this year? Caution. Yeah. Cannon McIntosh slow on the back straightway. He is going to make his way up into the Indy Metal Finishing Work area. You see where Larson is at all? You see his name up there? No. On that light gray area? I wonder I where he's at. He's in 17. The leader plus one. Constitutes a completed lap, and Corey Day will lead on the restart and the initial start. The entire field must make their way around to complete the lap. 20th. Mm. Once we are underway, it's the leader plus one. So Corey Day this, has taken over yeah. the 16th. I don't laps want to Corey go. Day to win, that's for sure. I would have pulled Jacob for him Day, if Larson had uh, you know, been knocked out of the race. Took. But. Not by him. Jacob Denny, just the smallest slip over in turns one and two, and that was all it took. That's not cool, man. That's a stupid rule. Yeah, it's Cannon McIntosh. Going to... I mean, I know people are going to get piled up and things are going to happen, but I'm more mad at the, the rule. 
I'm mad at you, Sack, for having Drake such a York stupid rule. Field, looks like might have an update. Drake? There was no reason why Larson would have to go to the back. Larson didn't spin that other no, guy in front of him. I subscribe because that's turned me off. We're, we're well, fortunately, right Larson now, don't do much of this racing, racing right here. If we come in closer, That's the only reason why we're watching this, because of Larson. Yeah. <laughs> How much it is worth? No, Not as much as we thought it would be, but obviously it's the car on track for a lot more laps. Savage is racing 57 KT, so tough break for Kevin Tosh, you no doubt about it. But this should give you an idea of what we're looking at here for the huh. race. Will somebody Thank wreck him? That day. Back to green. Corey Day leads in four. Freaking care. I'll be wrecked. Yeah. And finish it now he'll try fast. to get up and run away, and he's going to gap him quickly onto the back straightway. 15 laps to go this time. It's racing it right day. over now. Denny, Copoy, yeah. Hursley, Corson, Courtney, Seavey, Miller, Train, and Justin Grant, your top 10. There you go, catch him. Trying to sink to the inside and picked up one more. Tanner Thorson. That right front just to the left rear of the Pristine Auction dot com number 86. As they worked on the back straightway as Copoy now going to get the run off of turn number two. He'll take over six. Copoy by Jacob Denny here to take the silver position. Denny, the car gets a little tight in the middle of turns three and four. Here comes Jason Persley now to capitalize. Persley going to take the oh, spot away. Rumble. Denny trying to get back down to the bottom. Right does so. Thing. Wants a charge of Tanner Thorson. Thorson still going to ride in fifth. Now Tyler Courtney yeah, coming up on the two. the only one that can do it now. As Denny. We'll bend off the charge of the 25 in for the time being here. He will work around the bottom side of turns one and two. Changes the lineup just a little bit. Thorson coming up, letting him know he's there. Man, this thing sure starts and goes again a lot. Miguel Drake, Justin Grant, your top ten. Jake Swanson, Tanner Carrick, Zach Weigel, Al Larson. Ben Cannon, McIntosh, then Zach Dom. Right now running out your top 15. Yeah, Corey Day picking up the pace substantially here. As we have nine laps remaining. He's way ahead. Buddy. Trying everything he can to reel him in and put himself in position to try to make a late race charge. I've been a people Day personally right now. Uh, picks up the pace, but he keeps the car as straight as possible. Caution. 66 coming to a stop over in turns right, one and right, two. Larson, Brody so Larson can stay because he knows the rule, right? Yeah, he would know the rule. And you know that if you hit somebody in a corner like that in the in the right in the side, chances are you can make him spin. Yeah. I believe he knows what he's doing. It's not an accident. It's ridiculous. That's Corey Day for you all. <laughs> That's very disappointing. And Thorson and Courtney look like Not too happy with each other. And yeah, Thorson going to go ahead and take it down pit side. Parts of the car left on the front straightway. Crews will come out and clear that. So they will get the 66 pointed back in the right direction. Field will begin to pace by once again. A heat's race worth of laps to go. Eight remain. Corey Day, hold on. Can the tires hold on? Why well, I feel like it's a sabotage for Larson from the management of Utah. Work area time by the way down to the Intermetal Finishing Work Area. I feel like Corey Day, Buddy Copeland, uh, Jason Persson, uh, Jacob Denny, Tyler Courtney now in fifth, <laughs> Logan CB in sixth, Gavin Miller in seventh, Justin Grant in eighth, <clears throat> Gail Drake in ninth, and Jake Swanson. You're gonna make up your top ten. Corey Day from eighth to first, Copeland. Third to second, Persley, started outside of your front row, he runs in third. Jacob Denny, your pole sitter, runs in fourth. Tyler Courtney in the 23, started 12th. How disappointed. Makes you want to go there and uh, punch Corey Day. <laughs> Makes me want to punch you, um, sack him, officials, for sure. <laughs> That's a stupid rule. That rule is stupid. Is there ever a case where smash, somebody wrecks another smash driver? His car. How can you how can you perp, how can you spin another driver? I, I, and then I blame like, the driver. I believe, I believe uh, Corey Day know what he's doing. He planned it. And why did they say Lar I mean this is stupid. Where'd that rule come from? That if somebody does a three sixty 
You know, I, I said it's one he thing if somebody spins out up there he by the themselves. He knows the rules. That's why he did it purposely. The two from 15. Well, my old buddy copoid has got something for him. As we're set to go back to green. But he's going to have to get on it now. Corey Day brings it back to speed with eight to go. Not as long as he can so blow a tire. The driver of the number four is going to pull the field onto the back straightway. Gaps by half a second over Buddy Kofoy, personally. Running in third. Jacob Denny running in fourth. Tyler Gordon is still your top five. CB running in sixth. Miller running in seventh. Justin Grant in eighth. Gail Drake, Jake Swanson still your top ten. And it's going to be Carrick and Weigel. McIntosh. That's disappointing. You go back to check on your leader with five laps remaining. And Larson got screwed. The advantage, 1.061 seconds. Larson got screwed on that one. Go for it. You're going to fly the front end of the front straightway as he will try to pick up the pace. Feels a couple of tenths off the advantage, held by the four. They come around this time, it'll be two to go. Corey Day. Runner-up finish here one year ago. See, Larson Leads the way, the white flag going to be shown this time. Larson won, and Day finished second. He will work off at the bottom of turn number four. So he probably can make it one more lap. Final trip to the day, back straightway through turns man. three and four. That's the problem with the last time. And you can add a turkey you, night champion to his resume. Raced. Corey Day wins at Ventura. Man, that sucks. Nope. Buddy Kofoy going to cross in second. Dason Persley in third. Jacob Denny in fourth. Logan Seavey in fifth. Oh. Gavin Miller in sixth. Justin Grant in seventh. Kale Drake, Jake Swanson, and Tanner Carrick. Unofficially, nope, your top ten. So. How disappointing. If you want to go there and smash the car, bang! Pisses me off. He don't deserve to win. Nah, he didn't deserve to win. I'm pretty sure it's planned. It, he know the rules, and that's what he did. He wrecked him on the side so Clarkson can spin. <clears throat> One of the biggest crown jewels. In midget racing finally belongs to the driver at a Clovis, California. Oh, He'll climb so. up top, race fans. Let him hear it. Corey Day is your Turkey Night winner. Nope. Don't deserve any of Not legitimate, man. Nope. Whatever. He won, but it ain't really legit to me. I will X you out. X. I was gonna like. I was gonna feel. I'm gonna like him. Not anymore. <laughs> The night of first for Corey Day, Carter, or Willie Kane. I think the first thing you got to be doing is apologizing to Larson. That's what I home. say. The trophy, the Aggie, the fifteen thousand dollar check. Apologizing is useless. Useless. Yeah, I know. But if you, you know what? Firstly, even if you do it on purpose, to wreck you him. should be saying something. I'm pretty sure he planned it. Makes me mad. I just think he drove like an idiot driving in that corner when uh, nope. there was a slow yeah, car ahead of Larson. Around, Larson had to slow up from that second Chris car. Davis. Larson didn't spin that other guy and ran into him. He, was he the got crazy. Of the race this year. He's fifth in victory circle. Corey Day, your winner of the 83rd running of the Turkey Night Grand Prix. Corey, similar circumstances last year. Picked your way to the front just when the rubber was coming. This time, one spot better. What made the biggest difference this year in being able to get around the leader? Difference? Uh, I, I not, ran over Kyle Larson. Just to pass in front of me. <laughs> that, was a, that was a big one. So, uh, uh, shut you know, up. I talked to Willie Kane and, uh, you know, Phil Durst and Bob Ward for giving me a good motor that, uh, you know, no one thinks would work. And uh, it does. So, uh, yeah, just thanks to Jess up and HP and Drake and everyone for for working so hard this swing you know i look forward to this swing so much uh you know to just be able to come race and 
and almost relax. You know, it's not as uh, you know, and Larson's been helping him get into Henry. So uh, yeah, wow. just really glad that we're going to get a couple down here, and uh, yeah, glad to be one spot better here this year. You really did work your way kind of slowly to the front of this one, where you're just playing the long game. Yeah, I was. You know, I knew that uh, the rubber was going to come in. Unfortunately, you know, with so many laps on this place, they just really can't keep it off it. So, um, you know, I knew it was going to come in. It's just a matter of when it was. So, uh, you know, tried the bottom and then uh, we moved back up and then kept trying the bottom just to see. And uh, I saw Denny down there get by a couple cars and I knew it was in. So I knew I needed to get down there and uh, get my tires worked in for it. So, uh, yeah, just just really glad to get this one. Just so you know. It, uh, good. First you don't deserve the win. Grand Prix here at Ventura Raceway. Can you think of a better way to cap off this remarkable 2024 that you've had? No, I can't. Uh, you know, this is my last race of the year, so, um, you know, I've never ended the year with a win in, in all my years racing, so uh, to do that feels really, really good. Corey Day sure. picks up the 83rd running of the Turkey Night yeah, Grand Prix here at Ventura Raceway. Uh, to get it and winner's circle it. for the first time at this prestigious event and picks up Yet another USAC Knox and Drake National Midget Victory. We I are think it's going a stupid to rule. Over to your that rule shouldn't be in place like that. USAC man. Knox and Drake National Midget That's Champion. That's the biggest stupid rule I've ever seen. CB Industries for seen auctions. And all motorsports. I think that's one of the stupidest rules I've ever seen.